And while the Carolinas deal with a hurricane back here on the Sun Coast, concern remains high about red tide. The state is out with a new report on the toxic algae bloom. Our Marla Spence has an update for us. She's live along the coast with an update for us. Marla. Hey Ray, I'm live right off the Palmasola Causeway and it looks fairly clean out here compared to what we've been seeing on Suncoast beaches so far. There are just a few dead fish and a few wildlife debris, but the Florida Fish and Wildlife says this is in no way any signs that red tide is slowing down. FWC's newest report shows high concentrations of red tide in samples collected along the shore in Sarasota and Manatee and Charlotte counties. Marine experts say this is an increase from last week in Sarasota and Charlotte counties. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association Fisheries also releasing latest information on the elevated bottlenose dolphin deaths happening along Southwest Coast, which is also unusual since Monday. 50 dolphins have been stranded and the NOAA says red tide and the toxic algae bloom is the cause of all of this. Now residents and businesses also continue to be impacted by red tide. One church on Anna Maria Island is doing its part to help as much as possible. Two weeks ago, Roser Church opened its doors to restaurant staff and just about anyone who's been impacted by red tide and they have been giving away food from their church's food pantry. When there's a situation like this, we open up to the restaurants, to people have, who have been hurt from the smell or food and not able to eat. <laughs> And Charles Wade with the Roser Church says just about all of the churches on the island have been coming together to help those in need throughout the county. Tomorrow, FWC will be releasing another red tide report, and we will let you know if there's any significant changes on red tide here on the Sun Coast. Ray, 